antifungal activity of fruits, leaves, and seeds extract of Sabopentandra against Colatotrichum cocodes. Our study examined and explored the antifungal activity of seeds, fruits, and leaves extract of silk cotton tree or the Sabopentandra against tomato anthracnose or Colatotrichum cocodes. Here is our overview. According to Food and Agriculture Organization last 2014, tomato or Solanum lycopersicum is a common food served on the Filipino table and generally consumed raw or as component of salad, hard dishes, and beverages. It is also canned whole, dried, and even processed into paste and sauces. It is uh, undeniably fact that in our area, tomatoes are sufficient in sustaining the needs of Filipino consumers. This can be attributed to a favorable temperature ranging from 21 to 24 degrees Celsius and well-drained soil rich in organic matter with a pH ranging from 5.5 to 8.0. That is according to the research of Tabun et al. last 2017. However, despite that there is sufficient supply or sustainable supply of tomatoes, we cannot deny the fact that various problems in agricultural management catered to deteriorate good profit and production of tomato, example of which are the inappropriate post-harvest management and also the proliferation of pathogens or diseases into our crops. Tomatoes are also vulnerable to fungal diseases. Example of fungal diseases might include the early blight or the Alternaria solani, the buck eye rot or the Phytophora parasitica, and most commonly the Colatotrichum cocodes or the tomato anthracnose. According to NETZ 2020, these diseases or these fungal diseases can be addressed by spraying fungicide. However, inorganic fungicides that are available in locality possess high price and detrimental hazard to farmers and ecological balance of farming community. That is why we look for plants that potentially manifest antifungal activity. And based on our thorough readings and research, we find out that silk cotton tree contains antimicrobial activity as response or as relation to the findings of research of Parulicar 2017. Since silk cotton tree is abundant in Southeast Asia, including Philippines, then we used to study its antifungal activity against tomato anthracnose since there is no current or existing study that's showing its antifungal activity against particular disease, which is the tomato anthracnose or the Colatotrichum cocodes. Here is our research objectives. Our research objectives are as follows. The first one is determine the level of effectiveness of seeds, fruits, and leaves extract of silk cotton tree. Next is evaluate the effectiveness of an extract at 20% and 30% concentration against tomato and truck nose. And determine the significant difference in the level of effectiveness of antimicrobial activity of an extract among concentration and period of observation. Now, I'm going to show you our research methodology. And as you can see, this is tomato was taken to the laboratory and collected. Portion of infected tomato were aseptically inoculated in the center of the nesteril coconut water media and allows it to ramify for seven days, considering that as our mixed culture in a petri dish. Then, Proceeding to the pure culture, we based on morphometrics or morphological identification of the colony 
And we based that on the study of Estayunoba et al. 2013. We emphasize or we look our emphasis or our emphasis on the on the morphometric uh, characteristics of colonies such as the microsclerosia, the characteristics of conidus spores, acerbuli, and setae. And for us to determine that, it is the colony that we have to observe. And since we, we have able to get the desirable colony under observation that we need to observe, we come up to the cultivation of Coletotricum coconut growth media in a 500 ml mature coconut water. Then we prepared two solution of Cipentandra extract, the 20% solution and the 30% solution. In that method, uh, we wash plant materials and allow to sun dry for two days. And subsequently, we wash plant materials were cut into smaller pieces and pulverized using blender. Plant materials were macerated with ethyl acetate for 48 hours with a ratio of 70% solvent and 30% solute. That is for our first concentration, first solution. Our second solution is that we prepared 80% solvent and 20% solute. That is our second concentration. And next is um, we save the homogenized sample to remove and dissolve plant material. And the liquid material serve as the, as the silk cotton tree plant extract. That method was anchored to Aswanida 2015. Next is we wash tomato in a water with 10% sodium hypochlorite to avoid contaminants or fastidious microorganisms that are not necessary to be observed during our um, research conduct. Next is we spraying of different test solution to tomato five minutes before spraying of Coletotricum cocodes. Next is daily observation on the manifestation of sign of infection to tomato, daily observation on the temperature, daily observation of relative humidity. Data gathered upon observation were recorded and documented for 15 days. Here is our findings. The findings showed that there is no infections were noted to 20% of seeds extract from day one until day 15. On the other hand, on the third day until sixth day of incubation, a significant of 0.05 result were elucidated in terms of rate of infection, wherein 80% of infected fruit were maintained from third to sixth days of observation. Moreover, the untreated were recorded to have 40% rise on infection from 60% to 100% from the third day to fourth day. I am going to show you the graphical representation of our findings. And this is the infection rate of C. cocodes in tomato treated with C. pentandra seeds extract, 20% seeds extract, 30% seeds extract, and comparing to the control group or the untreated group. You will notice this line is for the number of days observed and the infection of C. cocodes. As you can see, the seeds extract of C. pentandra at 20 and 30% concentration manifested fungal or antifungal activities as shown on the figure. It has been noted that the number of tomatoes being infected by C. cocodes was affected by the period of days of observation. On the first day of observation, there is no indication of C. cocodes. However, at the end of period of observation, the 20% seeds extract, this one, significantly exhibited antifungal activities until the last day of observation. Next is the infection rate of C. cocodes in tomato treated with C. pentanda fruits extract, 
the, the 20 percent fruits extract the 30 percent fruits extract comparing to the untreated group or the control group as you can notice the fruits extract of C. pentandra at 20 and 30 percent concentration also revealed antifungal activities it has elucidated that the number of tomatoes being infected by the C. cocodes is associated by the period of observation where in no symptoms of the infection recorded on the first day. However, you will see that on the fifth day of observation, it was the 30% fruits extract revealed antifungal activities against C. cocodes, this one. Next is the infection rate of C. cocodes in tomato treated with C. pentandra leaves extract. 20% leaves, 30% leaves extract, comparing to the control group or the untreated group. And as you can notice, the leaves of C. pentandra at 20 and 30% concentration also elucidated antifungal activities as shown in the figure. It was noted that the number of tomatoes being infected by C. cocodes was also affected by the number of days or period of days of observation, wherein during the first day, no indication of sign of infection. But as you can notice, on the fifth day of observation, it was an infected rate of 80% of tomato in the 30% leaves. But still, it shows, it shows or it signifies that antifungal activities against antacnos has been, has been observed or was also manifested. In our conclusion, the findings reveal that seeds extract of silk cotton tree has the most antifungal activity among leaves and fruits extract. It also showed that at 20% concentration, the seeds extract contains the most antifungal activity as compared to the 30% concentration of seeds, compared to leaves, and compared to fruits and even to similar concentration of 20% leaves and 20% fruits extract. It was also disclosed that there is a significant difference between concentration and period of observation of silk cotton tree extract as the 20% seeds extract elucidated its level of effectiveness as antifungal treatment to tomato anthracnose from day three to the last day of observation, which is the day 15. And our recommendation is that to prevent the C. cocodes infestation that may result to profit loss in tomato, farmers and vendors may apply seeds extract of silk cotton tree at 20% concentration as part of pre-harvest and post-harvest practice. Thank you and best regards.